Today we're going to show you how to tech and set the long slide restrictor LO206 engines from Briggs & Stratton. First thing we'll need to do is take the official green air filter off and move it out of our way. This is a green slide restrictor plate engine and it should measure 490 thousandths no-go. This is the official tool that's used for the tech and as you'll see it has a steel pin and we're going to verify its measurement before we go any further and see that it measures just over 0.491 and in fact it is a 0.4915 pin gauge. That gives you about one and a half thousandths extra credit when it comes to the tech barn. We'll go ahead and check this engine first just to see where we're at. We need to pull the throttle to wide open throttle. You don't have to stretch the cable, just pull gently on it until it bottoms out in the cap. And this no-go gauge cannot start underneath that slide. And you can see it's definitely bumping against the edge of the slide. Now while we've got this slide pulled open, We'll go ahead and turn our gauge around to the open side, which measures the back side of the slide. This has got a special cutout in it so that it can go in around the needle without having to pull the needle assembly out of the carb and then reassembling it. So we'll go ahead and check that from the front side of the carburetor the same as we did the, the front edge of the green slide. Now we're looking at the back edge. And it's important that this gauge goes no deeper than where we're at here. This is properly set. If this were to bottom out, then it would be illegal on the back side. So for, uh, for instructional purposes, let's go ahead and pull the slide loose, take the cap off of it, and show you what I mean. We'll next loosen the cap. gently slide it out of our way. I'm just going to back the cap off a little bit and as you'll see as I pull the throttle open now we can get an extra few thousandths of opening on that slide. That's why it's important that when you're racing that this slide cap be tightened to where it's snug. It cannot be run loose because it'll allow air to get in around the cap and it also allows that slide to open further but for our purposes right now I want to show you what happens if we open that too far again I'm going to check the front part of the slide with our 490 pin gauge as a no-go and it definitely goes in underneath the front edge that would be considered illegal I'll go ahead and check the back side Occasionally you'll need to back off the idle screw too. It'll sometimes catch on that. Just be careful of that. And you can see even with that cap loosened up, this one still has a fair amount of adjustment. There it did just go. Again, you don't want to blue thumb this and force it in there and ruin the man's carburetor. That's not the purpose of tech. We want to show that people are legal, not illegal. So again, I'll set that in there. And you can see that it tries to catch right there, and then it just does slip past, which would make that illegal. Again, we've got the cap loose right now just to show you this. If we wanted to set this a little bit closer than it is currently, the way I normally do it here at Carlson Motorsports is I'll set that 490 pin gauge underneath the slide and let the slide come down on it, and then I'll set my cap so that that's snug. Now, to adjust that amount, you're allowed to file on the cap only. You're not allowed to file on the slide. The cap itself may be machined, filed or sanded anywhere on this surface. It must have the gasket and only one gasket in place. We've removed the gasket from this cap simply for our purposes of showing you how to file it. 
a flat file on the bench and a few light strokes back and forth and you can take a few thousandths off at a time. Continue to check with your gauge occasionally to see where you're at. The last thing you want to do is remove too much material from that cap slide. Once it's back together you're going to snug it down. Again I will snug it here on all of our Carlson Racing Engines engines so that it snugs up on the pin gauge and then I'll typically give it an extra quarter of a turn to where that cap is snug and you know you've got that much cushion in the tech barn. There's our instructional video for today. Thank you.